Are you looking for something to listen to after you finish Lorna Shore's The Pain Remains? Well, I've got 10 symphonic death metal bands that you should check out. First one on my list is Shadow of Intent, one of the best death metal and death core bands around today, nailing that crossover of nerdy video game culture and extreme metal. Hailing from Connecticut, Shadow of Intent are easily one of the best metal bands in the genre right now, wielding that symphonic sound in creative and emotional ways. I love that the band seamlessly brings in other styles such as melodic death metal into their brutal death core approach. The mastery of their sound, especially lately, has uplifted the band to new heights since their formation in 2013. You can see clear inspiration from other symphonic extreme metal bands like Flesh God Apocalypse, Demu Borgir, in addition to their chunky, groovy death sound. If you haven't scoped Elegy yet, which came out this year in 2022, it's easily one of the best deathcore albums that you should not miss. Septic Flesh, one of my favorite bands on this list. Septic Flesh are a Greek death metal band that formed in 1990 and have gotten better and better over their 30 plus year career. What I love though about Septic Flesh is their ability to craft unbelievably moody, brutal, and gorgeous symphonic soundscapes contrasted with the horrors of death metal, but make it sound catchy as fuck. Ever since Titan came out in 2014, I've been a massive fan of this band, and that's around when drummer Krim joined the ranks of Septic Flesh and just made the band even more intense somehow. These guys have even played with a full orchestra and choir with over 80 musicians and 32 singers at the same freaking time, making a full-blown death metal symphony. Sign me up, dude. If you haven't heard this band yet, you want to check out something new, definitely listen to Omega that came out in 2022. That was fucking awesome. Little bit of a curveball here, but still belonging on this list, Bleeding Through. Although they formed in 1999 as a American metalcore band from Orange County, California, this band has some seriously brutal and also gorgeous symphonic elements in their metal discography. There's plenty of extreme metal to be had with this band and even some melodic death metal elements to round out that sound. Another thing that I love about this band is their clear hardcore influences. Guitarist Brian Lepke has said many times that the influences span from bands like the Cro-Mags. They can be heard all over Bleeding Through's material. But the best part about this is the fact that they combine and elevate their sound even more with keyboards to bring it to a new level of emotion and borderline gothic extreme metal sound similar to components that you would find on like a Cradle of Filth record. I'm not complaining. This band's awesome and they're frequently overlooked in the metal scene. Definitely check out Bleeding Through if you have haven't heard them yet. Another one of my favorites on this list, Flesh God Apocalypse, one of the most extreme and intense metal bands on this list. Flesh God Apocalypse are from Italy. They formed in 2007. Easily one of the most intense technical death metal and gorgeous symphonic overtones that you will hear from a band in this list. If you love the blistering speed of Lorna Shore, contrasted with bellowing orchestra and synths, Flesh God Apocalypse is a great place to get lost in that sound too. This band is also fantastic to see live because they're just extremely theatrical and fun. They've got cool props and costumes that make you feel like you're traversing a castle of some sort of undead aristocrat while listening to their otherworldly music. King was one of my favorite records that they released in 2016, but I also really enjoyed Valeno in 2019. They also completed recently a killer collaboration with Epica titled The Great Tribulation. That's absolutely worth your time. Don't miss this band. They are fucking awesome. Awesome. 
Next on my list, make them suffer. I discovered this band late, but all I have to say is, holy shit, do not skip this band. If you love symphonic sound with metalcore and deathcore, make them suffer are one of the best in this genre. They are from Australia. They absolutely nail that fresh take on brutal riffs, melody, and emotion. Although they formed in 2008, it wasn't until the release of Never Bloom in 2012 that the band really hit the scene hard. Overall, their whole discography is fairly strong, but my personal favorite record of theirs is their most recent, How to Survive a Funeral in 2020. Probably though, more metalcore side than deathcore side, but they still have the extreme sound. They've got the brutal riffing contrasted with the symphonic elements. You cannot deny that this band belongs on this list. Don't miss them, check them out. Winds of Plague, one of the OG bands to incorporate symphonic elements into their deathcore sound. Any deathcore band around today that's doing that has Winds of Plague to thank for giving them the idea in the first place. Winds of Plague also have some pretty significant metalcore in their sound. Overall, they can definitely be categorized as symphonic deathcore. Formed in 2002 in California, the band has had a hell of a career, releasing five successful studio albums. And what I love the most about this band is their ability to write not only brutal riffs, extreme metal moments, but also catchy as hell songs. Usually their singles have some of the most banging and catchy choruses, and that's why they kill it live in the touring circuits with other metal bands. If you love the chunky riffs, the big symphonic sound of Lorna Shore, circle back to Winds of Plague, and I think you'll be happy, man. Shade Empire, one of the more underappreciated extreme symphonic metal bands on this list, but I had to put them on here simply because their symphonic sound is so cornerstone to how they approach their songwriting. Blistering speed, catchy as hell melodic guitar passages with huge orchestral patches. Shade Empire are so underknown and underappreciated from Finland. The industrial and death metal elements combined with those post-apocalyptic themes nail that sense of sorrow and drama that comes with the vibes of other bands on this list. I will say though, there's something about how the Finnish do it that sounds more serious and intense. Shade Empire is a band that you absolutely need to check out. I recommend starting with Omega Arcane in 2013, some of the best music that is on this list. All right, another underappreciated one, Avatar of Hate, hailing from Romania. Avatar of Hate are one of my favorites on this list and one of the more underknown bands doing the symphonic death metal sound. Formed in 2018, they've only released a couple of EPs, but goddamn, the music on those releases is fucking fire, dude. The harsh vocals and brutal sounds together, they create an absolute force to be reckoned with. I'm honestly surprised that this band is not way bigger given the other bands on this list and how they sound and the popularity of the symphonic approach to brutal music lately. Definitely check out both of their EPs, Legions of the Red Flag and A New Temptation. You won't be disappointed at some of the best music on this list. I'm late to the party, Mental Cruelty. This band blew my fucking mind when they flew across my radar, combining that blackened symphonic sound with deathcore. I love the extreme metal elements with blast beats, huge walls of guitars, and those gross black metal overtones contrasted against the big orchestral patches that are just swallowing everything in the mix. When the band combines those moments of ferocious speed into the slam and groovy chunky boy riffs,
there's just this massive sound that is rarely created this well in the blackened deathcore landscape. It's cool to see a band from this genre that's from Germany too. It's kind of a rare thing to see nowadays. And it's awesome just seeing a band like this doing great things for the genre from Germany. Their latest album, A Hill to Die Upon in 2021 was fucking awesome. So definitely don't miss it. I highly recommend it if you love that symphonic sound. What do you dig from the symphonic death metal and deathcore sound? I probably missed a bunch. Drop them down in the comments. Go with the gods, Forge Masters. Remember that you always need a 60-part orchestra with your death metal riffs. See you guys next time.